welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss some more examples to implement AVL tree insertion. Insert the following elements on AVL tree. If the tree becomes unbalanced, balance the tree and redraw it. So one by one, we will check it. What do you mean by AVL tree? AVL tree is a height balanced binary search tree. So whenever you are performing insertion, every element while inserting into a tree, you have to check the balance factor for each node. If the balance factor is 0, plus 1 or minus 1 in the sense, the tree is balanced. If it is plus 2 or minus 2 in the sense, the tree is unbalanced. In that case, you have to implement a rotation to convert the unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one. Then only it becomes an AVL tree. There are four types of rotations already we have studied. To convert the unbalanced AVL tree into a balanced one. One is single left rotation, single right rotation, double LR rotation and double RL rotation. Okay. So the different types of rotations and introduction to AVL tree already we have discussed. The link I will provide in the description for your reference. So first here insert 50. So only one element we have inserted balance factor is 0 only. Next to 30, see whenever you are performing insertion into an AVL tree, you have to maintain the binary search tree constraints. That is element less than the root node should be inserted as a left subtree and the elements greater than the root node will be inserted as a right subtree. Okay, that is the right element. Okay, so 30 is less than 50, insert it as a left child. Okay, and balance factor here if you are checking, this is 0 and this is plus 1. 1 minus 0. Okay. Next insert 75. 75 is greater than 50. Insert it as a right child. Now the balance factor for all three nodes is 0 only. Okay. Next insert 80. 80 is greater than 50. Go to its right child. And the next element is 75. 80 is greater than 75. So insert it as a right child. Now check the balance factor. It is 0. It is minus 1. And this one is 1 minus 2. It is also minus 1. So it is balanced only. Next insert 92. 92 is greater than 50. Go to its right child. 92 is greater than 75. Go to its right child. 92 is greater than 80. So it should be inserted as a right child. Now check the balance factor. Here it is 0. Here it is minus 1. Here it is minus 2. Here it is also minus 2. Okay. 1 minus 3. Minus 2. So the tree is unbalanced now. So, whenever you are performing insertion, if the tree is unbalanced, that is the avial tree is unbalanced in the sense, you have to perform a rotation to convert it into a balanced one. Here, you have to perform a single left rotation to convert it into a balanced one. So, if you are performing left rotation in the sense, we will get the tree. For this subtree, you will get 80 as the root node. For this subtree, 75 will become the left child and 92 will become the right child. Okay. And the remaining tree as it is, 50 is the root node and 30 is the left child. Now, if you are checking the balance factor for all the leaf nodes, it is 0. For this one, it is 0. For root node, 1 minus 2. So, you will get it as minus 1. Now, it is balanced. Next example, first we have to insert 60. And this is the root node. And 82, next element is 82. 82 is greater than 60. Insert it as a right child. Okay. Now the balance factor is 0 and minus 1. It is balanced. Next element is 37. 37 is less than 60. So insert it as a left child. Now if you are considering the balance factor for everywhere it is 0. Next insert element 90. 90 is greater than 60. Go to its right child. 90 is greater than 82. So, insert 90 as the right child. Now, if you are checking the balance factor, this one is 0, this one is minus 1 and this is 1 minus 2, this is also minus 1. Okay. Next, insert 12. 12 is less than 60, go to its left child. 12 is less than 32. So, insert 12 as the left child. Now check the balance factor for every node. This is 0, 1 minus 0, it is plus 1. So here it is 0 minus 1 only. Here it is 0. 
this side also two child this side also two child so everywhere it is balanced only no need to perform any rotation here this is a avl tree this is a binary search tree as well as this is a avl tree okay it satisfies the balance factor property okay next insert 65 next insert 90 90 is greater than 65 insert it as a right child the balance factor is 0 and minus 1 next insert 20 insert it as a left child 20 is less than 65 insert it as a left child now the balance factor everywhere it is 0 next insert 80 80 is greater than 65 go to its right child 80 is less than 90 so insert 80 as the left child of 90 now check the balance factor this is 0 and this is plus 1 and this one is 1 minus 2 so you will get it as minus 1 now it is balanced only next insert element 72 72 is greater than 65 so go to its right child 72 is less than 90 so go to its left child 72 is less than 80 so insert 72 as the left child of 80 now check the balance factor this is 0 this is plus 1 this is plus 2 here okay and here if you are checking 1 minus 3 here also you will get minus 2 okay so here it is unbalanced so here you have to perform a rotation so implement a right rotation here so if you are implementing a right rotation you will get the tree like this 65 and 20 will be as it is in that place and here if you are rotating 80 will become the root node for the subtree and 72 will be the left child and 90 will be its right child okay now check its balance factor if you are checking the balance factor this all will be 0 and here it is 1 minus 2 it is minus 1 okay now it is balanced this is a avl tree next up first insert 55 next is 95 95 is greater than 55 so insert it as a right child now a balance factor is 0 and minus 1 next insert 23 23 is less than 55 insert it as a left child now the balance factor everywhere here it is 0 and next insert 81 81 is greater than 55 go to its right child 81 is less than 95 so insert it as a left child now the balance factor is 0 plus 1 1 minus 2 you will get it as minus 1 here okay next insert 12 12 is less than 55 go to its left child 12 is less than 23 so insert 12 as its left child okay now if you are checking the balance factor this is 0 this is plus 1 here also 0 plus 1 here now it is 0 balance factor balance one next insert 63 63 is greater than 55 go to its right child 63 is less than 95 go to its left child 63 is less than 81 so insert 63 as the left child of 81 so now here the tree is unbalanced see here this is 0 this is plus 1 and this is plus 2 you will get it here so here it is unbalanced so you need to perform a rotation here so perform a single right rotation here so if you are performing a single right rotation 81 will become the root node 73 will become its left child 95 will become its right child this is the subtree you will get it 81 is the root node for the subtree 63 is the left child and 95 will become the right child and its root is 55 and its left child and all as it is 23 and 12 will be as it is now if you are checking the balance factor for all the leaf nodes it is 0 for this one it is plus 1 for this one also it is 0 for this one also it is 0 now it is balanced okay next insert 62 next insert 50 50 is less than 62 so insert it as a left child next insert 70 70 is greater than 62 insert it as a right child now it is balanced only next insert 40 40 is less than 62 go to its left child 40 is less than 50 insert 40 as the left child of 50 now the balance factor is 0 plus 1 this is 0 this is 2 minus 1 it is plus 1 okay next insert 65 65 is greater than 62 
go to its left child 65 is less than 70 so insert 65 as the left child of 70 next insert 26 26 is less than 62 go to its left child 26 is less than 50 go to its left child 26 is less than 40 insert 26 as the left child of 40 now the balance factor will get affected here the balance factor is 0 here it is plus 1 here it is plus 2 you will get right and here it is plus 1 only but here the balance factor gets affected so here you have to perform a single right rotation here so if you are performing single right rotation for this subtree 40 will become the root node 50 will become its right child and 26 will become its left child okay and then 62 and its right subtree as it is will be there 70 and 65 now if you are checking the balance factor for all leaf node it is 0 for this one it is 0 for this one it is plus 1 for this one also it is 0 now it is balanced okay in this way only you have to perform insertion while inserting you have to keep in mind it should be a binary search tree okay the binary search tree concept is left subtree should be less than the root node and right subtree should be greater than the root node in this way you have to perform insertion and then you have to check the balance factor if the balance factor is not satisfied in the sense you have to perform a rotation whichever the rotation it is required single left rotation single right rotation double left right rotation or double right left rotation whichever rotation is required to convert the unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one you have to implement that one okay then convert it into a balanced one then the balanced binary search tree is nothing but the ADL tree okay already we have seen few examples I will provide that link also in the description check for your reference thank you for watching this video